Hello, um, and uh, well, I think it is a good afternoon actually. <laughs> um, right, um, something I have just learnt. Um, yes, unfortunately, I've gotten into a certain age, and I've only just found out about this word. Apparently, it is called catfishing. Now, the reason why I'm doing a video on this is because I have just been scammed. Um, it's actually, it started when he was pretending to be Vin Diesel on Twitter. Um, and, uh, and then I said, look, obviously, you know, come on, this isn't the real Vin Diesel for goodness sakes, you know. I mean, obviously not, you know, because I had like 20 pictures of the same person. And, uh, anyway, this one particular one. And then I asked him for his picture and said, show me who you really are. He showed me his picture and I thought, oh, I thought, I actually really like this guy. Yeah, he was okay. I went off his looks and also the fact that he was, it wasn't, it wasn't the fact that he was dressed in an army suit. It was also, it was, it was normal. It was just like a normal guy. Anyway, uh, basically what's happened is, is I got talking to him for a while and I talked to him since the... 13th of March um, this year my goodness what can I go through I don't want to go through the entire lot because it will just bore the absolute pejesus out of you I mean a lot of you probably say oh I've heard of that oh yeah I've had that done to me oh yeah you know you're not the first one to who's had it done and that apparently it's a very very common thing now this uh, one particular person now he's an army guy. Um, he had three different types of army suits. It showed you his mum. It showed you his. I'm presuming it is either his nana or his grandma or someone like that. Then he showed you his brother. Um, and then uh, he, he was quite a really really young, you know, like type of um, person. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a very, very attractive guy. I will be putting the pictures up um, and that's what everybody obviously can see who the heck I am talking about um, and that. And uh, I had been supposedly talking to this guy um, and it's supposed to be is um, real on this Facebook, but somebody has stolen his identity. Now, apparently, this catfishing is, um, well, I'm only just learning about it now, but apparently, they can actually take your pictures and they can actually, um, they can actually use it to scam people. If you don't know what scamming is, it's where they can either pretend to be somebody they're not, um, or they can try and get romance out of you. Doesn't matter who they are or what age they are. You're you're thinking you're in love with the person in the picture, like I was. Um, and then also, um, you could also be where they ask for money. Now, in his case, he was saying, you know, it was like two weeks into it, and yeah, unfortunately, I fell for the guy because I really like—I didn't just really like his picture, but I also I heard his voice, and that was another thing that got me. His profile on Facebook um, is called Adrian. Um, sorry, Jeff Adrian. Uh, I will again. I will bring up. Um, I will bring up the pictures, um, and that, but. Uh, yeah, it was rather quite, um, well, quite strange because on his profile, all he has is women, old women, not that young of women, um, and that. Um, so I'm not talking twenties either. I'm talking, and I'm also talking. He's also been scamming fifty-year-olds as well. Um, anyway, so basically, um, I had a look at his uh, thing, and my daughter, my eldest daughter, is thirteen. She noticed his age. It said March. The 6th, 1989. Well, we worked. We were actually all worked it out. And it turned out to be 28. Um, and then he turned around to me and told me, oh, no, um, he said, I'm 37. He said, I was born in 1981. I thought, 
this isn't all adding up. Anyway, he's not just on Twitter pretending to be Vin Diesel, but he's also, he's also on Hangout pretending to be Vin Diesel as well. He's also obviously on Facebook. Um, obviously, you can put his name in Jeff Adrian um, and that, and it will it will come up, I can tell you that now, um, and that. Uh, I don't know if any of you obviously have... I've heard of it or seen it or anything like that. That's, but uh, yeah, I've now got to be really, really serious, like flipping careful now. The bloody hell I speak to do now, and it's it's quite annoying because you know I thought things like you know like these things were all safe, but it turns out they're not all safe. I've only just heard of catfishing, um, but then again, I've never been. I've never been caught, I'm not, not caught, I've never had that sort of thing before happen to me. Anyway, basically I'm going to show you a quick sort of thing on it. That is supposed to be the, um, the guy that I'm supposed to be talking to. And obviously, yes, his picture as well. Um, so yeah, I did have him, um, I did have him up here and like I said, I just, I couldn't believe it. I thought, oh, for, I've met a really nice guy here, he turned out to be really, really nice and, you know, and this, that and the other and it turns out he's nothing like what I thought he was, um, and that and, uh, anyway, it got, it gets even bloody worse because I went on to hang out and I asked to speak to his... I asked, said, oh, I said, uh, yes, me being like I was. And I said, oh, I said, um, could I say, you know, like, because I thought he was only young and he'll have a mum like me. I mean, obviously he's got a mum, you know. And apparently I said, oh, yeah, she's uh, she's on Hangout as well. Anyway, he gave me her email address and I spoke, and I spoke, supposed to have spoken to her. Now, the fake name was... Murray Derek Smith. Now, my friend turned around to me and said, Smith, that's a very common name. And then he said, Derek. And he went, that's also a uh, a, a man's name. I thought, oh, bloody brilliant. Um, and that, no profile. There was, no, there, was a, a, there was a picture of him leaning against a car um, and that. And then the picture turned over to being a caravan with writing on it. I thought, oh, bloody brilliant, this couldn't get any freaking worse. Anyway, he started asking for money. Yes, me being stupid. I thought, because I've fallen in love with this guy and that, and uh, we said we loved each other and I, and all this and stuff like that. He, um, I ended up giving him money because he said that his mum had cancer. So um, whatever it is for the US, that was 200 there. Uh, me being stupid, I'll never do that again. This first time I've ever been scammed, by the way, um, and that until one happened again, and then this, and then the other one was is um, is he said he was in Afghanistan. He borrowed fifty pound and I needed to pay it back. Could I do it? Anyway, I couldn't do it. And then he said he being transferred over then to um, West Africa. Well, it turns out there is no um, there is no army site over in West Africa. And that, and apparently West Africa, it does exist, but it's not actually called West Africa. It's apparently it's a it's something different, and there's apparently there's no army base or anything like that over there. Anyway, yeah, me and my friend apparently done a lot of research, um, and that. Anyway, I don't know how this whole catfishing works, but I've just seen a lot and lot a lot of photos. Um, he keeps sending them out, but they're not like old old photos or anything like that. They're like youngish. Um, photos and I said, oh, I said, have you got one of your oldest? Where he said, oh, I shaved my, uh, I shaved my beard and stuff like that. And then he said, go and ask my mum some questions and that, you know, because she'd be able to answer them. But it turns out his mum, it doesn't even that woman doesn't even exist. Well, she does exist, but this whole catfishing, obviously these these people, they obviously um, they don't know that they're being taken for scamming. Anyway, so, oh gosh, anyway, so, um, there was there isn't just me, apparently there's lots and lots of other, um, people out there, 
Um, so yeah, I've been um, I've been talking to him and stuff like that, and it's and then he expect and then I spoke to him right. I spoke to him on the um, on the hangout and on the messenger. Um and that which everybody knows what Hangout is and everybody knows what Messenger is. Messenger you can't have it unless you have Facebook. So I spoke to him on there, and we did a, a video call, which it was only one sided. Da, da, da. That's a red flag there. Turns out I did my investigation. Well, I've managed to download a uh, a lock so I can add a. Enable or disable my camera. Ding, 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 ding. Anyway, um, so yeah, I did. Uh, I I asked a few questions, you know, like, oh, um, you know, can I have some proof of ID and stuff like that? And can I have this? Can I have that? And stuff like that. And it was getting more and more and more suspicious. I think because maybe he's got the money out of me and that's it, you know, like he's on to the next woman sort of thing. But we're supposed to, I was supposed to plan to have met him at the airport. Now, it was supposed to have been... Because um, the reason why I gave him the money the first time, the 200 in the first time, and that I couldn't afford it. No way I could afford it. Um, or anything like that. I had to actually... Uh, I actually had to borrow it and make up some sort of story anyway so um he said that his mum had cancer and he was dying and you know and apparently she needed 300 pound not 200 pound then he asked me and said oh and um i can't i trust you more than anybody in this entire world okay um and that and i know you'll never let me down okay and um oh yeah by the way um he wanted me to get a bag, uh, a box of, uh, take a box of gold for him from this shop, this jewelry shop that apparently is supposed to be closing down. Uh, well, and then he said to me, but I need, I need 650, something like that. Okay. Well, I didn't give it him. Then he asked me for fifty pounds because he said I'm hungry because he said he was at West Africa and he said they're starving there and this that and the other and I thought right so I, again I was naive and yeah I've been tricked yes my first time in my entire life I had actually been catfished or scammed anyway I will put every single one of his pictures up and that and i am now trying my to do my best to try and get this guy exploited um or whatever you want to call it i don't know i'm trying to save women from being um ruined for, by this guy i mean obviously if women want to fall for this guy it's up to him but i was actually supposed to be meeting her at the airport in november um and then he was supposed to go home to his mom he said that his dad had died that he got a that he said oh i'm because i'm in the army and i'm in and i'm a military guy and that every woman out there wants me um so they will all be jealous of you okay um, and that I made him put up that I was in a relationship with him on Facebook, which he did that. Um, anyway, like I said, he was supposed to, he, when he, he said that his dad had died, and when his dad came back and took his mum took um, him back, apparently he's been he's, when his dad died, he said that you have to toughen up. So that's what made him go to the army, okay. And then he said, um, I have to find a perfect woman to marry, have kids with, then go back to the solicitor say, right, I've got married now to a perfect woman. I've now got um, kids now and that. Can I please have, and he's supposed to have had over 80, 80, 80, not 80, um, eight grand or whatever it was. He's supposed to have all this money, really don't care. Um, he said he got one business then he could run. Then his fake mum turned around and said, but I've got, but I've, but he hasn't really told the truth. He's actually really got two businesses and I'm still really ill and that, okay. And then he said, uh, and then he's got a house. He's got a house in um, Texas, but um, he can, te but he's got, his dad's house has got it in Florida. Okay. Anyway, so... 
yes, I couldn't, uh, I just couldn't believe it. So I've only just found out about this. Um, pe pe people get scammed all the time and stuff like that. And I'm probably not the worst one. But it's because I know, but it's like Facebook said when I looked up the rules last night, has he got a young photo? Is he quite a good looking guy? You know, check out his profile, check out this, check out that. Anyway, this guy turns out, he probably turns out that this guy is, you know, like he's happily married, he's got kids, he's got a family, and this poor family's being used, um, and that, and he hasn't got a flipping clue. Anyway, so, apparently, he's, like I said, he's, he's, up, on, um, he's up on Twitter as um, Vin Diesel, um, asking for his real photo, and eventually you'll see it if you've watched this video. Is also he isn't he is on Instagram. Uh, he's not on Snapchat. I know because I asked him, and I also tried looking it up. Um, but he is on Facebook. Um, like I said, his name is Jeff Adrian. Real name or not? I don't really know. And the army guy, the actual army guy on his actual thing, and that word there or whichever side, it actually says Taylor. Okay, but yes, the pictures are real and this, that and the other, but it's been used by somebody. And I, I'm i probably not the first or the last one to be used. Anyway, so I'm, uh, I'll pull up the pictures and um, I just hope other women who see this and watch this, I just hope for goodness that they don't, they don't get hurt or used. Um... And that because this guy, he seriously likes to play with your heart. I mean, I'm a single parent. I've been on my own now for two years. I've got three children um, and that. And I was supposed to meet him at the airport in August the 22nd. And he was supposed to come over. And my parents and everybody else has turned around and said, over our dead body, you're not going there to meet him because he might turn out to be a really old guy. And he will not turn out to be who he is. Be careful who you meet and be careful who you see. Anyway, see you later and come along, subscribe and obviously do me a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching and bye.